everybody. Welcome back to How I Cook. I'm Stephen and Frederick. This week we're going to be doing two appetizers uh, that are really easy, really tasty. I think people will really like. Super Bowl is in a few weeks. These might be good for that. So we're going to be using wonton wrappers or egg roll wrappers to make shells. So let's do that first. So these are regular egg roll wrappers. While I'm at the supermarket, I'm gonna cut them into quarters. First half, and then half again. These are mini muffin tins. I'm going to spray them with a little cooking oil. So, two egg roll pieces, one diamond, another diamond, so it looks like that. Push it down to make a cup. One more time. So it looks like that. Push it down so it makes a cup. So there we have it. In no time at all, I've made all the cups. The oven is preheating to 350. I'm putting these both into the oven for around five to six minutes. I'll check it after five. Now we're gonna make the filling. I'm making two types tonight. The first is a taco and the second is pizza. So let's start with the taco. We have a skillet here, turn it on medium. Add a little olive oil, just a little. And I'm using just a half pound of ground meat. So I'm going to start with a third cup of onions. Let's get them in, get them cooking. Once they're on the way, we'll add the beef. I'm not adding any uh, salt or pepper or anything to this because I'm going to be adding taco seasoning in a little. So the onions have been cooking for a few minutes. I'm going to add the half pound of ground beef. Chop this up with your spoon. Cook it as if you were making tacos. We'll just let it sit for a little and brown. So I'm using uh, taco seasoning just for ease. You could put your own spices in there, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, paprika, chili powder, all those sorts of things. Put in anything that you want to put. Uh, some things you might like more, some things you might like less. I think McCormick does a nice job. I'm gonna put this taco seasoning in. I'm only gonna put half of this packet in uh, because it's only a half a pound. So let's get this all ground up. Okay, so the ground beef is pretty much done. I drained off the extra fat. So now I'm going to add about half of this packet. That's about enough. Will I save this? Yep. Fold it over, put a rubber band, use it for the next batch. Waste not, want not. Okay, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn off the heat. This is a cup of taco cheese. Rather than putting this mixture in the cup and putting the cheese on top, 
sometimes when you do that, it gets a little hard, it gets a little dried out. I like to actually put it in with the beef mixture. So what I'm going to do is with the heat off, I'm going to put the cheese in, a cup of cheese, and I'm going to mix it together. This way, everything will be incorporated together. See, it's melting nicely, it's stringing. This way, we don't have to worry about it drying out if it's just sitting on top. Okay, so this is one of the ingredients for the taco appetizer. Let's just put it aside. I'm gonna check the cups right now. I checked them at five minutes, they weren't done. It's around eight minutes now. I'm gonna check and I'll be right back. Okay, they're not quite to the right crispness that I want. You don't want them too crisp because they're gonna be going back in and baking again with the filling, but you don't want them too flimsy or, uh, yeah, flimsy. So, for now, I'm just going to let it sit for around two more minutes. Uh, in that two minutes, I'll get the ingredients for the pizza appetizer. See you in a few. So it was actually around 10 minutes, not five minutes. And you can see they're holding their shape and the edges are starting to brown. You see I am loosening them to make sure they don't stick. Okay, we're just going to let these sit for a couple minutes and cool down. I'll describe what we're going to do for the second ones. The second ones are going to be pizza. So it's going to be pepperoni pizza. We're going to put some pepperoni, some mozzarella cheese, and some pizza sauce in the cups. And then they'll be like pizza cups. So I went to the supermarket today to get pepperoni. I know they sell little chunks, but I couldn't find that. Uh, they have all different types of uh, pepperoni. This is 25% less fat. They have low sodium and all. But the point I want to make to you, they have these, but they're smaller rings. These were $12 a pound. The smaller ones were $14 a pound. That's why I'm using these, the regular size. We'll make these work. Okay, I'll be back in, let's say, a couple minutes, and then we'll start filling our cups. Okay, I think they've cooled down enough, so let's fill them. We'll fill these with the pizza, and then we'll fill these with the taco. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two pieces of pepperoni, put it in each, cup, push it down, the pepperoni will create sort of a seal, there's two in there, uh, so the bottom doesn't become soggy, I don't think they were going to become soggy anyway. These look fancy, uh, if you buy those phyllo cups in the frozen section, they're very expensive. These are not expensive, but they look fancy and they're easy. You can always make the shells ahead of time, make the fillings ahead of time, fill them and have them just waiting for when people show up. All right, so they're filled with pepperoni. This is deli mozzarella. If you're not a mozzarella fan, you prefer provolone, you prefer something else, use something else. But I'm just breaking off pieces of, pieces of mozzarella, shoving it in the cup. How much? As much as you want. You know my motto. Is this the right way? Is this the way you should do it? No. This is how I cook. Okay, so pepperonis in there, mozzarella cheese is in there, pizza sauce. You want to use spaghetti sauce? Go ahead. Just a little pizza sauce on top. Or a lot of pizza sauce. Whatever way you want it. So 
So there you have it. The shells with pepperoni, mozzarella, and pizza sauce. We'll put these aside. And then we'll fill these with the taco filling. So to remind you, this is our ground beef with taco seasoning and grated cheese, taco cheese. You use whatever type of cheese you like. Monterey Jack, cheddar, whatever you like. Or you don't like cheese. I know there are some people who don't like cheese. I'm not one of them. But if you don't like cheese, don't use cheese. You want to um, use ground turkey? Use ground turkey. These little shells are very versatile. Other ideas, you could put brie and a little either uh, melt them, cook them, I mean. And then when they come out, put a little raspberry jam or apricot jam on top. People would like that. That would be fancy like date night in an Applebee's. Okay, so they're done as well. Very easy. I know I say in every episode it's easy. It is always easy, but these are extremely easy. All right, I'm gonna rinse my hands, put both of these back into that preheated pre 300 to 50 degree oven, and it'll be like three minutes. Okay, so I ended up leaving these both in the oven for around 10 minutes. They did continue to cook. The cheese melted nicely. Uh, these cooked, you could see the edges have browned up. So easy. And you could see there's lots of ingredients left, so you can make more. If you're having a big crowd, you can get more ground beef or uh, egg roll skins. This is a very cheap, um, easy, crowd-pleasing appetizer. Uh, do what you want with the fillings. Be creative. For the taco ones, you can add sour cream or just leave it and let people put their own on. A guacamole. There is a company that makes a squeeze guacamole that I like to buy when I went to the supermarket today with a combination of supply chain and the winter storm that we're supposed to get tomorrow. The uh, shells were a little bare, but I was able to get this guacamole. We make it work. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. As I said earlier, these would be great for Super Bowl weekend, but also award season's coming up, so they would be good for that. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and you have a great week. Remember, I'm Stephen and Frederick, and this is How I Cook.